What is good everybody? It's me, your girl Shayna J here and we're just going to jump right into this video. All the products that I will be using in this video will be listed down in the description box. I didn't want to make this video super super long by explaining everything and telling you where I got everything from. Although I did get everything from Amazon so again I will leave everything down in the description box. The main thing that you need to know in this video is that um, we're going to be pretty much using two um, um, two pieces so the first thing we're gonna do is take a regular full cover nail and we're gonna measure that out and um, then we're going to take an actual tip nail and we're going to actually be attaching the tip nail to the press on nail now I did want to show you um, how I'm going to do that so we're gonna go ahead and place the um, full cover nail onto our nail stand and we're just gonna cut it down a significant amount just so that it's shorter and um, it's not you know shaped up in that like narrow way and then we're just gonna attach the tip nail to the tip of that now I wanted to show you guys the reason why we can't just put the tip nail on our actual nail if you guys can see um, when you do it on the if you try to put the tip nail just like on your actual nail it will um have like a gap so you're just going to use the regular uh tip nail and you're just going to attach it to the full cover press on nail like i'm doing right here and yeah that's pretty much it you got your you know the base of your um your press on nail so now we're gonna just cut the tip off of course you can leave it stiletto shaped and just shape it up but I do like more of a coffin shape so now what I'm gonna do is as you can see since we did attach two uh, separate nails there is gonna be that bump and that like you know ridge so what you want to do is you just want to start to file it down a little bit you want to start off with a file and then you're gonna take a nail drill and you're gonna take that nail drill and you are going to pretty much just try your hardest to just blend the two um, pieces together as seamlessly as possible so that it's nice and flat. Um, I got this nail from this nail drill from Amazon as well. So again, I will leave everything down in the description box. I did not want to make this video super long. I kind of just wanted to show you guys how I do it without having to use acrylic or whatever. Now, of course, if you use acrylic, um, this might be a little bit easier. Well, actually, no, I don't think it would be easier because with acrylic, um, you kind of have to know how to shape it and blah, blah, blah. This, it kind of just takes away a lot of the uh, shaping and making sure that it's not lumpy or whatever so um yeah so in this step right here I'm just trying to show you guys I wanted to t point out that you don't want to file the um the very bottom of the 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 press on that you just made you don't want to file anything below the the tip that you laid down because the press on is already shaped and um catered to the to the uh nail so you don't want to file it and then it ends up, you know, taking off too much and then, you know, it's like you end up making your nail a shorter or whatever. I did um, practice this a couple of times before I decided to um, film it. So that is something that I wanted to point out. And this step is a little bit more, these steps are a little bit more um, tedious. So it did take me a while to do it. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys how, and now this is the finished product as far as me, um, you know, making it nice and flat. And this is one set already done. So yeah, I'm gonna stop talking now. Um, I talked for the whole four minutes, Jesus Christ. Um, but yeah, this was a super easy, super quick and simple tutorial because, um, you know, they do not make press on in the length that I like personally. So I decided to make my own. So I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'm just going to let the rest of this video play. I do have a more in-depth um, video on how I, um, you know, how I uh, do the paint and how I, um, you know, you know, paint it and how I cure it and blah, blah, blah for how many seconds. I do have a video um, a more detailed video on that so I'll leave that down in the description box as well and yeah guys um I do suggest though that because these nails are longer I do 
wish that I had done them a little bit thicker. So I usually do two base coats, but I think the next set that I do with long nails like this, I'm gonna do about four of the base coats just so that the nail is thicker and that is all i have for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching i'm just gonna let this video play and yeah enjoy bye